Always good when the first trainer you bump into at racing's headquarters is a man with a leading fancy for the imminent Qatar Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. That man is Ed Dunlop. He is, of course, the trainer of Snow Ferry. Joining me now, Ed, first of all, how is Snow Ferry and how did she come out of Ireland? Everything's fine since Ireland. Thank you very much. Touch wood. Um, the only not touch wood is that I've just heard that it's rained a lot in Paris, so it's officially soft going there at the moment. But um, hopefully the weather's going to improve. Yeah, if it is a dry week next week and the going is no worse, say, than good to soft, would you be inclined to take your chance? Um, potentially, but um, I think the ground will favour others more than us. You know, we mustn't forget she broke the track record in Ireland on fast ground. She's broken the track record in Hong Kong on fast ground. Um, you know, she loves fast ground. That said, she won an Irish Oaks on very soft ground, but... We're playing with a different horse who's had a significant injury and, um, you know, it'll obviously be more of a stamina test. Do you feel it's it's a question of, of stamina rather than, than ground preference insofar as, yeah, she'll get a mile and a half fine, but it's just a question of what that extra cut in the ground will do to her reserves at the end of the race and tactically it plays out slightly differently? Of course, and you know better than I do, Nick, that, um, you know, she has a, an electric turn of foot on fast ground and it's bound to be dented a little bit on soft ground. Um, there are always plenty of runners. There's always a little bit of un a few unlucky stories, you know. Um, we were well and truly beaten by Daydream last year. She does not have a three-year-old allowance this year. So I think it's a very open but very competitive arc, and we don't know yet how many runners there will be. But um, um, we'll see. I don't know. It's an extraordinary story, and we've documented it extensively on Racing UK when we came and saw you and, and Ryan Moore a few weeks ago. But um, is it just possible that, that she is, in fact, better now than she ever has been before? Do you rate her Irish Champion Stakes victory as a career best? On official ratings, it is. Her rating went up £3 for it. Yes, I think so, because it's the first time she's beaten Colts in Europe. She's beaten them in Hong Kong, but um, the rest of her group ones against her own sex. I think um, her victory in Japan last autumn was probably her most phenomenally exciting and nerve-wracking victory. Um, but for her as a racehorse, I think winning in Ireland was probably her greatest day. So you're praying for sunshine at Longchamp for the, the next week or so. What are the forecasters telling you? Well, I, uh, I saw Julian Dollar a couple of days ago, who um, they recently, Newsall Park started, have just recently bought Nathaniel, and he said to me, uh, he said, I think the weather force is going to suit you more than it suits us. Interesting. But, but it's just rained a lot recently, and it's soft going today. So, you know, we'll wait and see. I haven't spoken to anyone in Paris yet. You know, things can change. You know better than I do that it changes very quickly. If she doesn't run in the arc, will you wrap her up and, and take her straight to America? We, I caused a bit of a storm in a team cup yesterday by saying that we put her in the EP Taylor. I thought it was foolish not to have her in that just in case things change, we want to do something. She's in that race as a precaution, no more than that. Um, she's had her swaps and various things done for, for going to Canada. She could go to Canada hypothetically and then on to the Breeders' Cup. Um, not trying to be boring, but with a, with a filly that's had such a significant injury, we have to take every day as we go. You know, she's got a couple more bits of work to do before Paris. And as long as those go well and the jockey's happy, we're hoping we'll have Ryan, but we don't know yet, obviously, now that we've heard that Sea Moon may well run if it's soft ground. Um, so, you know, there are still lots of things to chew over, talk about, keep her hopefully in good condition and take it from there. But Breeders' Cup is number one objective. If I get my way, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what does the owner think? Um, she's booked her tickets. Excellent. So, um, yeah, she's, she won um, winning the Irish Champion is a win in your end, so she's eligible for both races. She has to be made Breeders' Cup eligible. Um, and that's a significant amount of money to, to play. We know the ground or suit, and we haven't ruled out either race, the turf race or the Phillies and Mares yet. It must give you a great kick to see what pleasure she gets out of it. The scenes in the winner's enclosure, both at, at Deauville and at Leopardstown, were, were just superb. If it wasn't for her, she'd be in a paddock, in, hopefully in fold something. She was very involved with doing the operation what procedure we did and you know i'm i'm so thrilled for her um how well she's done since you have a runner today here on the roly mart red avenger in the in the nursery what did you make of the the run last time generally received wisdom was a little far back do you agree with that didn't look like they went particularly fast slowly run race probably traveled very well um, hit a little bit of flat spot stayed on looked a little bit immature and green still I'm hoping the step up to a mile the ground should suit but this may be an even better race than Donkster was but um, he, he, he he'll run very well uh, thanks a lot for your time thank you cheers